What's up everybody? I've had a bunch of people ask me why the Xtool P2 has multiple cameras in it. So today I just wanted to do a real quick video discussing what the difference between the two cameras is and how you can use them. All right, when you look inside your Xtool P2, you're gonna see a couple different things in here. So this right here is one of the cameras and this is a fisheye lens, which just kind of gets a general overview of the whole work area. They've also put a camera right here, which is something that a lot of manufacturers haven't done yet. Uh, I think now that Xtool has been doing it, they're probably going to start doing it because it's a really great idea and it really helps with stuff. So this is connected to the gantry, and when the laser moves around, it's actually following it. So like I said, this first camera here is good for just getting a general overview of everything. It's good for just setting your material in and kind of figuring out where stuff roughly is going to be. But when you really want to get a good idea of exactly where stuff is and you really need a lot of precision, you can use this other camera here. Let me jump into the program and I'll show you what everything looks like. All right, so here we're just looking at the general overview and you can see the fisheye effect here a lot. So especially at the top where it really starts to curve down. So you're just losing detail and precision at these outside edges. So let's switch over to the other camera, which is going to give us a closer view. And now we have a much more precise view. We're not getting any fisheye effect from this one. All right, to demonstrate the difference between the two cameras, I've drawn these four circles, and I'm gonna use these top two here with the regular fisheye, and then I'll use these bottom two with the close-up camera, and we'll see if I can get the uh, circles to overlap this and which one is more precise. All right, I've got these two circles here. I'm just going to move them over the existing circles. Another one here. And now let's engrave that, and hopefully those are pretty close to our original marks, but we'll see. All right, so you can see how when using that fisheye lens, it's close. It's probably a millimeter or so off, maybe almost two. Um, so it would work on a bigger piece like this, but if we really needed the precision, that's just not going to cut it. So now let's try it with that close-up camera and see what happens. So now I'll click close capture view and I can just move this right over those circles. And you can see how much that like shifted everything around. So let's drag these circles down over our piece here. And you can use your keyboard to move these around. I'm just using the arrows here just to get it just perfect. All right, let's give that a try now. So that is dead on. And just so you guys know, I actually ran both of these twice. So there's actually three sets of lines here because I forgot to hit record on my camera the first time that I was uh, tracing it out again. Uh, but anyways, you can see if, say you were doing something like earrings or something small that was actually this one inch diameter and you needed to fit something perfect on there, you would want to use that precision camera. If you had a big piece of material like this and it didn't really matter if you had room to spare, sure, you can just use the fisheye lens. But if you're ever doing something that's got a lot of detail to it, make sure you're using that close-up camera because you'll get much better results. I hope that helped clarify the difference between the two cameras for you guys. Uh, thank you for asking all these great questions. Keep asking them, leave comments down below and everything. Um, I will try to do a video on them if I can. And if it's not something that needs a video, I'll just try to answer you in the comments. 
if you are interested in grabbing an X-Tool P2 or any other equipment, they got a bunch of sales going on. I'll put links down in the description. Please make sure you check them out. That really helps me. It costs you guys the same, but I'll get a small kickback from them, which really helps me out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all later.